everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I'm doing pretty well. It's time for another chapter in my story. Um, we last week we talked about grief and we talked about how you need to grieve you need to grieve your losses okay so we we talked about grief last week now we're going to talk about something a little bit different and this is going to be a look at reality um learning to live with yourself stop fighting against what you have as far as a chronic illness it's there it's not going anywhere all right so today we're actually going to talk about um how do we do that how do we do that and we can do this before we get into that i'm going to give you guys another um, chapter out of this book it's called you are stronger than you know words of hope and encouragement for someone living with chronic illness and it's a blue mountain arts collection okay and it's all about chronic illness um i've read quite a bit out of this i've read all of it but um i've shared a lot of it and this is what i'm going to share today and it's called a little pep talk repeat after me i am strong i'm special i can do anything sometimes life throws hurdles in our past but we just have to keep on going full speed ahead looking inside ourselves for the courage to leap over them and never look back. You are a strong and remarkable person and you can do anything. May you always believe in yourself. And this was written by Natalie Evans. Now the reason I chose this is because there's really four strong words in here. You can do anything. All right. One of the things that I hear all the time when it comes to chronic illnesses I can't do it. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do this. Ugh. I can't get this open. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I always hear, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't ever hear, yeah, I can do that. I have to do it a little different, but yeah, I can do that. All right. I see so many people give up on something that they can't do the same way ugh, that they used to do it now what do i mean by that you it, it, it's funny because i was actually talking to um my my counselor at the time about this and i said why is it that everyone says well i can't do anything and she says you tell me and i said because that's wrong you can do a lot of things you just can't do them the same way you used to right Sorry about my squeaky chair. It's just part of part of my life here. Um, so one of the issues that I have with um, chronic pain and um, I see people have with chronic pain is the, I can't do that. All right. Yes, you can. You can do anything you put your mind to it. Now, does that mean you can do it the exact same way? No. Does that mean that just because you can't make a five course meal in a matter of an hour like you used to that you can't ever do that again no it means that you need to look inside yourself and you need to start thinking and i hate to use the cliche but i'm going to use it you need to think outside of the box all right um yeah you can do things you still can do things you know i i actually watched um a video clip this morning when I was going through my Facebook um, whatever and it was a video with this woman that when she was four I think she said um, she got sick and she lost her hearing and she 
was playing, I don't even know the name of the, the instrument, let's say a, a ukulele, I don't know what it was, okay? She was playing a real tiny little guitarish thing, and she was singing, and she is completely deaf. Her voice is absolutely beautiful. She has all the pitch, all the tone. She stood barefoot on the stage so she could feel the beat of the music. All right, so does that tell me that she sat there and said, well, I can't do anything, I can't hear. So I can't play music because I can't hear and I can't do anything. No, that's not what she said. She said, I'm going to do this. I don't know how, but I'm going to do this. And what did she do? She figured it out. All right. What do you need to do? You need to figure it out. I need to figure it out. I have figured out that, yeah, I can still make dinners. I don't do it very often. <laughs> but I can do it. Um, I just have to do it differently. Right? So... Instead of waking up in the morning, well, I can't do anything today. Start waking up in the morning and say, hmm, what do I think I can do today? Well, my back feels okay. That's, it's, you know, it never goes away. It's, it's okay. So, you know, maybe today I think I can make a video. All right. So what is the worst that's going to happen? All right, the worst that's going to happen is, oh, here I am, you know, I've made this commitment to make this video, and you know what, my back is just not, not, it's, it's not happening. That's okay. So what do you do? You shut off the camera, you close up your paints, you go to your self-care, your, um, what do I want to call it, your pain management, and then maybe an hour or two it says, huh, okay, yeah, I can get back at that. All right, let's get back at that and let's finish that video. Right? But does that mean you can't do it? No. You just need to learn. And you need to really think about deep down inside, how can you do it even though you need to do it differently? Right? So that's, you know, that's what the message is today is, is it's not that you can't do, you can do. You just need to learn that you need to take I can't do out of my vocabulary. All right. And sorry if you hear some coughing and stuff in the background. My hubby is very, very sick. He has a nasty, nasty head cold and I don't want it because of my lung issue, so I'm just trying to stay away from him. <laughs> I'm staying in my heart room. <laughs> because I don't want it. I don't need to get sick. Um, I'm still having issues with my lungs, so. All right, so anyways, we digress there. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, we're talking about things you can do. And, you know, it, it, it's okay to say, you know, I, I, I don't think I'm up to it today, but you know what? I could do it tomorrow. And then plan plan on that rest and plan on having you know the ability to do you know can I can I go ride a horse again no that's never gonna happen so yeah are there things that you can't do yeah there's things that you're just your body's not able to do anymore but does that mean everything I can't do no and that's where I see a lot of issue with people in chronic pain is it's all about I can't do I can't do anything and that's wrong you get up in the morning you feed yourself don't you okay so then you can do it you um, take a shower don't you yes so you can do it and it's not you know do I take the shower the same way I used to no I'd be in and out in a matter of minutes no I can't do it like that anymore because I have to be careful and I have to um, monitor and, and figure out a different way to shave my legs and a different way to, you know, wash the hair so that, you know, the back isn't screaming by the time you're done. It's all about learning and adapting to those restrictions. Understanding that those restrictions are there, but they are not completely immobilizing you. Those restrictions are there because you're, you have a body 
issue or you have a mental issue. That's okay. But you still, um, you still are breathing. You're still having a life. So that doesn't mean that you can't do everything. It doesn't. I promise you. If you start looking at the things that you can do and start looking at your life more positively, it's hard. Don't get me wrong. It is not easy to sit there and say, well, I can do it. It's not easy. Not easy at all. It takes time. You're not going to just watch my video and say, oh, good. Cindy says I can, I can do it, so I, I'm good now. It's not going to happen that way. Okay? It takes time. You have to go through the anger. Why me? You have to go through the depression. You know, my life stinks. You have to go through um, all of those emotions. You have to go through the grief. We talked about it last, last time. You have to understand that you have to grieve for what you've lost. Okay? I'll be right back. i got to dry this up and we'll keep on chatting. Alright, so what we're going to do is... Um, I've got out some white dilution paint here, which is almost gone. I want to use it up. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to talk about we're going to we're going to let go of the words "can't do." All right, they're gone. We're not going to deal with those words anymore. The "can't do" is gone. So what can we do? Do we know? We can still get up in the morning. Does it hurt? Yep. But you know what? We can do it. We can put on a pot of coffee. Can we do that? Yeah, we can. What else can we do? We can peruse Facebook. And I'm not liking how this is doing it, but that's okay. I'm just going to get rid of those little white blobs. No worries. There we go. So I got stuff on the corner. Um... All right, so we can get up in the morning, we can put on our coffee, we can peruse Facebook, maybe we check out Pinterest or Etsy or um, check out a group that we belong to or we're just, we're just hanging out, okay? So we can do all that. So when somebody says to you, well, what you can do, I can't do anything. You're wrong. You can do, and I'm going to do this whole page like this. I don't know, I just kind of like this design. Um... You can do, okay? And it's okay to say, yeah, I can't do some of the things I used to. I can't do them the same way, but I still can do stuff. I mean, and you know, it's funny. That's one of the things that when I went um, in front of the judge here a while back over my case, you know, and, and I said to him, I said, you know, I can't do everything exactly the way I used to, but yeah, this is what I can do. And I explained to him what I can do. And he got it. He understood. And actually, I was talking with my attorney about it, and he says so many people go in and say, I can't do anything, I can't do anything. And that's that's wrong. You can. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I like that. So I'm going to do that over here, too. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's find another stencil. Let's do something a little bit different. Let's do this one. These are all my Tim Holtz stencils. I just keep them on this because it's... Easier than trying to find them somewhere else. So let's do let's get let's do these down arrows. And the reason we're going to do these down arrows is this is the stuff that you're going to get rid of. You're you're going to stop saying I can't 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 can't. This is all bad stuff. And this is climbing into what you can do. So that's my thinking on this. So let's get these put together. Like I said, this, this does not happen overnight. Um, it's hard. I'm not going to tell you it's easy. It's not an easy road. You know that. You're dealing with chronic pain right now. Is there anything easy about it? No, there's not. But you know what? It's what we have been dealt. It's what we have to learn to live with. And can we live with it? Yeah, we can. We can. It's okay. We can live with it, right? Alright, now this is a little bit wet. I want to dry this up real quick, and then I'm going to figure out how we're going to go about 
um, getting rid of our cans and putting together our cans. So I'll be right back. All right, so um, just wanted to explain something to you guys. Um, well, actually, first of all, this I use this is a dilution border um, and journaling block, and I used it just to create some lines on here of where I want my borders to be. And I'm going to paint them in the dilution black just because I want to. That and I want to use up this paint. So, um, the one thing I've noticed about the dilution paint is there's definitely a shelf life for it. Um, but so I want to use it up. Anyways, um, it's funny, I didn't even think about it until I actually came back in and sat down. You know, I talk about how you know, there's things that you can't do and how you have to build new ways into your life to do things that you can do, right? So let's take, for example, what I just did. I told you guys I had to dry things up, which is the truth, I did. I dried things up. And then, what did I do? I got up and I walked around for a while. I did a couple odd and end things here in the studio and, you know, put some things away and looked at some other projects that I'm working on and... And what I did, in essence, is I gave my back the relief that it needed at that time, which was to get off it, stop sitting on it, um, and allow myself to continue making the video um, in, in a way that my back would handle. So the, the hardest part about this whole thing is learning to accept your new reality it is what it is you cannot change it you can't go back in time and say darn if i just hadn't lifted that router you know if if, if i would have just taken two seconds and and called my coworker over and had him do you know what it doesn't matter you can't do that you you, you can't roll back the clock oh how we wish we could right can't do it so that is a can't we cannot roll back the clock. We cannot undo what's done, right? So what do we do? We learn to live with what is. And you know what? It's okay. It is okay. So what I'm going to do, once I get these on, I just like these borders. I don't know why I like to put borders on when I have a color page like this. I think it just makes the colors pop more. So it doesn't have to be perfect. That's not what this book is all about. Um, this book is not about, you know, my perfect story because I don't have a perfect story. And if someone tells you that it does, they're crazy. So, so this is just about learning um, and sharing my journey of chronic pain with you and how I've learned to deal with living with it. Because let me tell you, I fought and fought and fought and fought in the beginning. I didn't want chronic pain, it wasn't gonna be me, I was not gonna live like this, I'll be darned if I'm gonna use my scooter, yada, 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 yada. And you know what? I'm gonna paint with my left hand. See how well I do. <laughs> Not too bad. Anyways, um, so yeah, so I'm just sharing with you my journey. We're going to talk about cans and cans. So I'm hoping just, you know, by talking about this that, you know, you can sit back and think, huh, you know, I can do things. You know what? Maybe, you know, you can't um, ride in a car for 12 hours. That's okay. You don't have to. Maybe you can only ride for two hours or an hour. Okay, so then ride for two hours or an hour. Don't stop living your life because of your restrictions. And we're going to go into that at another date. Um, but, you know, there's so many things you can do. Can you go next door and visit your neighbor? Yeah, you could do that. Why not? Um, you know, I've heard people say, well, I can't go up and down the stairs. Well, we're not asking you to do a marathon up and down the stairs. Can you go up the stairs? You have to go up the stairs to see your doctor sometimes. 
Sometimes you have to go upstairs and, I don't know, go to a, a government office. Not everyone has elevators. All right. So, yes, you can. You just need to learn how to adapt and how to accept and how to recognize what you can and cannot do. Right? All right, so again, I am going to dry this up and I'll be back. All right. <clears throat> So, I got this set of stamps, and don't ask me where I got them. I have no idea. They're a set, all there is letters. Um, so, I've got can and cannot. So, I'm going to, I've got some white gesso over here. I'm hoping, yeah, I can. Oops. Don't need that again. Hold on. Let's see. I'm going to put some more gesso out here. I just have a little bit of gesso on my palette here. So here's my A. My N. Picking up a little of the pink, I don't care. This actually is an O. I'm not sure why it's good. Maybe that's why I got them. I don't know where I got them. Um, talking to myself here. Can not. O T. Alright, so there's what we cannot do. Alright, and let's put can on this side. Like I said, I wish I knew where I got these these uh, this letter set, but I have no idea. So, and this is what we can do. So we're gonna do C. We're gonna do an A. And we're gonna do an N. All right. Now I'm gonna throw these in my water. them all up and then I'll get them put back. All right, so we have a can and a cannot, right? So I want this to dry. While that's drying, I'm going to use my trusty little imitation pasta pen. Of course, you know, we got to do dots. Alright, so are you thinking about what you can do? I know I am. Alright. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm thinking. <laughs> I am thinking about what I can and what I cannot do. Are they the same? No. Um, all right, so let's start working on this. What can I do? What can I do? find my white pen. I'm just going to use, this is just a white gel, jelly roll pen. Okay. What can I not do? This is 
still a little bit wet. Hold on, I'm going to dry this. Alright guys, so what I did is I um, dried these up and then I have been sitting here just thinking about things that I can and can't do. And um, I'm using two different gel pens. I'm putting the white on the cannot. This is what I have so far. I cannot drive my two-wheel motorcycle anymore. I cannot. However, I can maybe look at a trike someday. Okay. Um, I cannot lift any more than five pounds. All right, but that's okay. I can ask for takeouts. Now, what I mean by that is, um, like, I can't lift more than five pounds, which means I um, cannot bring in my groceries. So when I go to the store and I go to the register, well, first of all, if I'm in the store and there's something that I want to purchase, let's say a case of water that's more than five pounds, I will not lift it. What I do, I find the next available man <laughs> rolling around the aisles. I'm like, hey, can I ask a favor? Would you please help me? Nine times out of ten, absolutely. Nobody has ever given me a problem with that. Once I make it up to the register, um, I tell them I need a carryout. And when I get a carryout, they put it all in the van. And then when my husband gets home, he brings everything in. So, again, there are ways to do things when you cannot do things. Okay? And I think that's what I'm trying to get across. All right, I cannot wrestle with my grandkids. As much as I want to, I'd love to get down on the floor. I had, I was, I had two boys. I raised boys. All right? But now that's Papa's. That's Poppy's job. Poppy does the wrestling with the grandkids. I make art with the grandkids. Okay? So again, I cannot do. I can do. This one is huge. I cannot not listen to my body and here I can listen to my body all right so when I say I cannot not listen to my body when my body is telling me you've had enough you need to chill out you need to relax you need to get off your feet you need to do whatever you need a painkiller I cannot afford to not listen to my body however on the flip side I can listen to my body and I can take my medications when I need to all right. Um, I cannot be spontaneous on travel. I used to call up my girlfriend, hey, what are you doing? Let's go blah, blah, blah this weekend. Or let's go blah, blah, blah. Hey, what about after work? You want to go hang out and have dinner, whatever? I can no longer do that because I have to manage my pain. So what I can do is I can plan my outings with my friends. For example, I had some plans for today as far as getting some artwork done getting some videos done. Well, my girlfriend called me this morning and says, hey, you want to do lunch tomorrow? I'm taking the day off. All right, so now I know I have a lunch date for tomorrow, which means I need to drive, which means I'm going to be on my back, which means I'll be doing some walking. So what does that mean? That means today I'm going to plan for tomorrow by not doing all the videos that I had planned to do. All right, because I need that downtime to relax and chill out my back today so when I wake up tomorrow morning I don't have any problems with going out with my friends. All right. Um, one thing I cannot do is I can't walk the festivals. All right. You know how we have whatever strawberry festivals, fairs, whatever the case may be. I can't walk them. So what do I do? I can use my scooter. My husband and I bought a, I call it my scoot and do, because it allows me to do while I'm scooting. Um, so now instead of walking to the festivals, wherever I go, I can make sure that I, if I want to go, if it's something, I, a festival I really want to go to, um, I just use my scooter. All right. Um, sit or stand over 15 minutes. Again, what can I do? Sit or stand 15 minutes. So what I have to do is I rotate. And I understand that, and I know that, and I've accepted that. So it's all good. Okay. Um, what else do I have on here? Vacuum. I don't vacuum. Um, vacuuming is not really good on the back. So what does my husband do? He does it for me. All right. Now, what can I do? I can share my story with you. I can make art. 
I can, uh, what's this one say, look at getting a trike. I can take my meds. I can ask for, I should be uh, carry outs. And the biggest thing is I can look for different ways to do things. So if it's something in my heart I really want to do and I'm really excited about the prospect of doing it, that's fine. I just have to learn a way I can do it, accepting the fact that my body is hurt. My, I have permanent damage in my back and down my leg that is never going to go away. So if it's something that I really, really, really want to do, I have to figure out a way that I can do it. All right. So I hope this chapter gives you something to think about. And, you know, when you talk about, when I hear, I can't do anything, that's wrong. You can. You can do almost everything. Just you need to do it a different way. Or you need to find a different way that's better for you on how to do something, whether it's a physical activity, mental activity, or, you know, with your family, with your friends, um, that sort of thing. You need to figure out how it's best for you to do that activity or to think a different way about your, your chronic pain or to take control of um, a, a mental instability or at least learn the tools that you can put in your toolbox to how to work with what you've got. All right, so just a little something to think about today. Can, things you cannot do. I could go on and on and on with this, and I could go on and on and on with this, but I'm giving you a basic idea. When you think you cannot do something, stop, rethink it, relook at it, and realize what you can do. All right, as always, you guys have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.